Hey all, Moto here, and today I'm back with another review. We have Power A's Nintendo Switch Wireless Controller. Obviously, the number one feature with this is the fact that this controller is wireless. It uses Bluetooth, quickly connects right up to your Switch. You can use it when the Switch is docked or not docked which is very nice. Before with the wired controller, when I was out and about, I wasn't able to use that controller. Not that I'd really wanna drag wires all around with me when I'm out and about. The second most awesome improvement with this controller is that they have action buttons on the back. And you'll see they fit perfectly for your middle finger here. Let me bring it a little closer. So you can program these buttons to do anything you want in the game that you can do elsewhere on the controller except for the d-pad so if you need a thumbstick click or you need your you know your your buttons or you want to reprogram your triggers or your little bumpers you can reprogram all of those things to these buttons here so when you first get the controller you're going to need to pair it to your switch and after that's done anytime you want to play you just hit a button on your controller and it'll wake up your switch and you're good to go when you're done, turn off the switch and this just powers off automatically. So as far as the quality of the controller, it is pretty much exactly what you would expect from Power A. Um, the buttons, they, they feel very familiar if you've ever used a uh, Power A controller before. These thumbsticks are a little different. Um, in the previous uh, review that I did for the switch controller, the thumbsticks had a a, like a wider circle for the uh, the top of the thumbstick and these are more closely what you'd get from like an xbox controller um with it i also noticed just a very subtle difference in the height of the thumbsticks and typically a taller thumbstick is gonna allow you to have more precise movement um for me personally it's really hard to get used to um but i've gotten used to it and it's fine but i prefer lower thumbsticks personally on the topic of thumbsticks, I also want to mention that as you rotate the thumbstick around, it feels very smooth. It's very fluid. It it does have like a real spring to it. Like it almost feels like a little a literal spring. I have no idea how they're made. Um, but it's super smooth. When I reviewed Power A's Xbox wireless controller, it would almost squeak at times, especially during shooters. It after a you know a lot of use, it would start like rubbing. Um, this one feels a lot smoother. Um, but after playing this for a little bit, I started to notice my right thumbstick didn't quite have exactly the same tension as my left thumbstick, and so it's something that. I get used to after a while, but it is something I do notice. So that is one thing to, to consider with that. I don't know if they're all that way or if it, I just happened to get one that was that way, if that makes sense. Wireless controllers also mean you need batteries. So for this controller, what you're gonna have is battery case, pop it off, two AA batteries, um, I actually have lost track of how many hours I've used this controller. Their website says batteries on average will last 30 hours. I personally will use these batteries that it came with. And then after that, I'll just buy rechargeable double A's. I actually already have a bunch and you just charge them up and switch them out. It's not a big deal. Some people do not like this, however. So if this is a deal breaker, now you know. Uh, other features, uh, obviously you have your, your bumpers, your triggers, the triggers on this, they, they have, uh, a, I consider it a pretty small travel distance. Um, they work great. They're, you know, nothing amazing or anything like that. Um, the backside, this is the one thing I don't like about these controllers. It's very slick and it doesn't have any sort of grip the, the, the plastic just feels, I don't know, too smooth. The next big thing obviously is having, you know, motion controls. I used this in uh, Mario Odyssey over the weekend and it worked perfect. 
So I actually don't have a lot of Nintendo Switch games that use the motion controls, but from what I've used so far in this, they work perfect. Um, I actually had a boss battle and I was punching using the motion controls and everything worked great. Um, and then with this, you can actually see I'm actually jumping right now by using one of the enhanced buttons. I'm actually not having to go hit A like normal. Uh, so with these enhanced buttons, it's really cool. If you would like to program these two buttons, they could be anything on your controller. So they could be a thumbstick click. They could be, you know, any of the buttons. It could be a trigger. Um, it could be your bumpers. So if you'd like to, if you'd like to program it, all you do is you press this button and hold it. You'll get a white light here on the front. Then you quit, you quick, you select the button that you want to program, and then you say where you want to program it. So you can do that. What I recommend uh, when you're first starting off with this, I highly recommend any games that have running on your left thumbstick, put it on your left uh, enhanced button, and then anything jumping, you can put it on the, the other side, on your right button, and then that way you can run and jump, run and jump. And that's a really good way, especially in games like Fortnite, if you're wanting to run and jump, run and jump, then you can still aim and shoot and build and do everything else with the other buttons. And you can be really, really quick with that. So overall, I highly recommend this controller. If you're looking for a budget-friendly uh, controller that has some pro features, it's wireless, it has the uh, enhanced buttons, it has motion control, it does not have rumble, and it does not have NFC. Those are things that are not important to me. So you'll just have to decide for you uh, what's important and how much your budget is. You can catch these for $49.99 in most places. Um, I'm really happy with it. I, I would like to hear what you guys think in the comments. If you like videos like this, please smash that like button and give me a sub here on YouTube. And you're always welcome to stop by my live streams if you have questions or just want to talk about video games. You can find me at mixer.com slash moto. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.